Well, hello, how's it going folks? It's me again, Tabo, and welcome to another tutorial on 3JS. So, today we're going to be learning how to use the set from spherical chords method, which is a vector 3 method. And what you see in front of you is what we're going to be creating. Okay, so we're going to be creating it in different steps. So I'm just going to show you its evolutionary steps and what we're going to end up with. So in this one, I even added a film pass effect, which, yeah. You can consider it a bonus but it's not much so without further ado let's just jump right in and create this thing so as usual i've got the basic code right in front of me i'm just gonna enlarge that just so that you can see it clearly so as usual we'll be importing our 3js module and we'll be using the orbit control also and these are the different post-processing effects that we'll be using so it's unreal we're going to use a film pass we're going to use after image pass we're going to use the dot screen and we're going to use a shovel without further ado let's just kind of jump right in okay this is not a beginner tutorial so by now i expect that you know how to set up a basic scene so these are the simple elements that create a basic scene so we've got our renderer so all the different settings are already there and then we've got a camera we're going to be using a perspective camera as usual and then i just position the camera accordingly we're going to be using an orbit control so you should know how to set this up and then we've got just our basic events in order to manage the rendering every time we change the screen size and we've got our rendering function which is going to be taking care of the main rendering and then inside our animate function this is where we're going to be running the animation using request animation frame okay we will create our spotlight okay we're going to create a variable for the spotlight okay and then i'm going to create a new uh, three texture loader and this is what i'm going to be using for the projection because we are using a spotlight which is projecting the image on the sphere so i've got an image over here that i'm using you are free to use whichever image you would like but i will include this in the tutorial if you want to use this instead then it will be available this is how it goes so we just give it a path this is where the image is located and after that then we have a callback function which takes an argument of texture okay so this is the texture that we're going to be using and we're going to assign that to the spotlights map so this is what the spotlight is going to be using to project so this is how you set it up and then next up we're gonna then create our post processing effects okay so we're gonna create a render pass variable and assign it the render pass module which takes up a scene in a camera so for those of you that are not familiar with post-processing effects i will link the beginner tutorial to post-processing effects so that you can understand what is happening here but if you want to know more and understand deeply what is happening here then i would recommend that you watch the beginner tutorial but you can follow along so long so then we're going to create an after image composer now an after image composer is not all that different uh, from how we create other composers we basically just take an effect composer and then give it a renderer and then after that then we will assign it the after image pass so we create a after image pass using the after image module or post processing module and then afterwards then we will change its uh, damp value and we will give it this particular value you can change it around play around with it so you can see the different effects but this is the one that we're going to be sticking to and then we continue to create our bloom pass we create our dot effect and we also change the scale value we make it four but you can play around with that you are free to do so we'll create the luminosity uh effect using the new shader pass assigning it luminosity shader so we're going to be doing the basic uh post-processing stuff so just have a look at all of this and just follow along okay so after creating the post-processing effects then we're gonna add them to our after image composer so over here we're going to say after image composer and then we're going to add the different passes so for simplicity's sake at the moment we will just comment them out uh, because then you can see what they do afterwards when i activate them all 
individually and so next up we're gonna then position our camera so we're gonna give it these values the z axis and the y axis 18 and 2 bit of space and then we're gonna create some new variables one is vector and we're gonna assign it a vector 3 then we're gonna create a group which is a basic 3 dot object 3d and then we're gonna create an array this is the array that's gonna hold all the planes that we're gonna create so I'm already gonna add our group to our scene and then give it some positioning so I'm gonna position it at the point of origin which is zero zero on the y and x well you are free to change the positioning uh, i just mainly put them at zero previously they were in different positions because i was testing to see which position is ideal so ultimately i guess if you just wanted to keep it there then you don't even have to really have all of this but i'm just kind of taking you through it as i created it and then you can choose what you want to do with it afterwards so next up i'm going to create a for loop and this is where we're gonna then create our different planes so this is gonna create 200 planes which we're gonna then push into our plane array and then afterwards then we're gonna add them to a group now if you're wondering why is it that i'm not just adding them to the group is because we're gonna use this array later on to create some animations and to add all the other different effects to use set from spherical chords it's gonna be going through each and every element within the array and then giving it the necessary value so that's what that is there for okay so just before our render function we're gonna then create a variable called time so we've got our time variable and inside we're gonna then increment it by 0.005 then underneath here then we create another for loop and so this is where all the magic happens so in order to set this up um we're gonna create a for loop inside of this for loop we're gonna be iterating through the plane array so we're going to use its length and in order to create our fee then we use math a cost and these are the values that we're going to be using so this is what's going to help us to create that spherical shape so we're going to need a fee and then we're going to need a theta and to create theta we use math dot squared and then we're going to square the plane array length and we're going to times it by pi and then we're going to times it by phi okay so afterwards then we're going to go through each and every plane in our array and we're going to go to its position and then we're going to set from spherical chords we're going to use eight over here as the one value in order to make this clear let's just go to 3js.org so that i can show you the methods and the different arguments what they are so here we are at 3js.org okay so there it is so this is our radius so we chose to use a radius of eight and then here we add a, our phi value and then we add our theta so this is what this is doing the eight is our radius and then afterwards then i created a an if condition which is just gonna check the modulus of this over here i just use this to separate them so that i can color them differently okay so we will have one that is white and one that is magenta and so afterwards then we're going to use our vector which is this one over here okay so over here then we're going to take our vector dot copy and then we're going to give it the position of the plane and then we're going to multiply scalar by four you can play around with these values and see the different effects uh do what you like so then we're going to take that plane dot look at and then we're going to make it look at the vector this is to make the planes to look at the center to basically face the center okay because the vector is in the center position so all the planes will be facing the center and after that then we're gonna take the group and we're gonna create a rotation on the y axis and we're gonna use time so this is basically what's gonna create the rotation for the whole thing but without this it's gonna be still so i'll just comment it out for now and then the next thing is we're gonna then add the after image composer but before we do that i'm just gonna render it as it is so that you can see what it looks like okay we're gonna run our server okay so i ran into a problem um i did not include the image in my folder so let me fix that quickly okay so i fixed it i just basically created a folder called resources and then images and then inside the images then i put the image which is philosopher underscore bg so let's see what it looks like okay there we go so this is what our sphere looks like um so it looks this interesting because of the projection so this is mainly coming from the spotlight 
okay besides that there would be nothing so you can see it's like lighting the inside so this is how it all looks for now and so what we're going to do next is then add the animation now this little border over here is irritating me a little bit so i'm just gonna make some quick changes to that this is just a css problem no biggie and that should solve that problem okay so there we go so now we've got our sphere so let's get back to adding our animation okay here's our animation over here uh, so i'm just gonna comment it out and let's see what happens oh there we go so now the ball is rolling we've got our basic animation set up looking pretty cool so the next thing then is to add our after image pass so let's go ahead and do that okay so instead of using the ordinary renderer we're going to use our after image composer so we're going to say after image composer dot render let's see what happens okay our after image pass is commented out so that's why that didn't work okay so here we go so now you can see our after image that's looking pretty cool too so the next thing is going to be bloom so i'm just going to comment them out one by one so that you can see what each one is doing so we've got our after image running so now we're gonna check out bloom on top of it okay so that's what it looks like with the bloom effect on it so these are layered on top of each other so it's after image pass and then bloom so we're just gonna keep on adding the layers next up sobel effect oh cool i would say by far this is my favorite it just has this really cool effect about it next we're gonna add some dots so now we've got the dot effect on top of it last but not least i'm going to add a film pass okay so the film pass adds these kind of streaks of color so you can choose whether you like it or not but ultimately this is what we're getting i hope that you enjoyed it uh, i certainly enjoyed doing it it's a very fascinating process you know to just put all these things together and see what comes out so yeah ultimately i guess this is what 3js is all about so Without saying a lot, I'm just going to say if you like my content, be sure to hit that like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe, because this is really essential so that the algorithm recognizes that my content is good and that it could recommend it to other people like yourself. So please do this. This will help me greatly. If there's ever anything that you can do for me in return, just hit that like, okay? So, without saying a lot, I just want to say love and peace, my brothers and sisters. I'm out.